Hey guys, it's Tim from the Hybrid Network, and welcome to a new episode of Spotlight, the show where I pose an interesting question or just a general interesting idea and have you guys take it from there in the comments. So the question this week is focusing around an expanded universe of Marvel Comics, the MC2 universe, and whether or not Marvel should bring it back. For those who don't know what the MC2 universe is, it's basically Marvel's equivalent of the pre-crisis Earth 2 from DC, where the current acting heroes are now older and the next generation of heroes are now taking their place and working alongside the older heroes in this future timeline. Or for you anime and manga fans, it's basically the Marvel equivalent of Boruto, or what Gohan was supposed to be before Toriyama got cold feet and continued to focus on Goku. Basically, it's a more positive future timeline than you're used to seeing in comic books. That's a sort of what if the characters were allowed to age and the next generation of heroes were allowed to take their place and live up to their legacies. The reason I bring this up now is because a lot of MC2 has been showing up recently, not just in the comics, but also in expanded media. Probably the biggest example of this would be Hope Pym's or Hope Van Dyne's inclusion in the current Ant-Man movie. Hope Pym was originally created in the MC2 universe as the evil daughter, or at least the vengeful daughter, of Hank Pym and the Wasp. And while she isn't portrayed exactly like that in the movie, she did get brought over, at least the name anyway, into this new movie, so she has a lot of exposure right now. And then you have minor references to it in other media, like Mainframe showing up in Hulk and the Agents of Smash, or Spider-Girl being an alternate costume, voice and all, in the Marvel Heroes MMO. It just seems like if they're going to be dipping into the well so much from MC2, they should at least give the option for people to read more up on it, beyond the past stories that have existed. And focusing back on comics, Mayday Parker still has a fairly substantial fan base, or at least a vocal fan base, and she has been showing up more and more in recent years, what with her role in Spider-Verse, The Secret Wars, and her current role in the Web Warriors title, where they make reference to her universe several times within the first issue. But that doesn't mean that this should definitely happen. I mean, I'm not entirely sure why the MC2 universe ended to begin with. It ran from the late 90s, 1998, until the late early 2000s, around the time that Brand New Day was happening. And I'm not sure if it was cancelled due to lack of interest, lack of sales, lack of interest from the creative team or if they just wanted to expunge the universe to sort of distance themselves from the whole Peter Parker-Mary Jane relationship they are trying to get away from at the time that was emphasized by the main character of the MC2 universe, Mayday Parker. But like I said, if they're going to continue to draw from it, why not just bite the bullet and bring it back all together? See how it fares. I mean, with Marvel's current trend of replacing their male heroes with female counterparts, you'd think they'd be all up for this because most of the legacy heroes from MC2, at least the notable ones, are female counterparts of the male hero that they're following up on. Spider-Girl, American Dream, Wild Thing, Stinger... But what do you guys think? Should they bring back the MC2 universe? Should they just let sleeping dogs lie? Should they just let Mayday Parker continue to show up and continue to follow her story? Or should they bring everyone back? And if they do bring it back, to what capacity? Should they bring it back like DC brought back Earth 2 and bring back a new take on it with a new direction? Or should they just continue back from where they left off? Well, that's what I'm going to ask you guys in the comments. But until next time, remember to like and subscribe and... This has been Tim from the Hybrid Network, signing off.